The neat thing about systems engineering is that it really requires the integration of a number of different disciplines. So you'll have mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, and computer engineers that work together towards a common goal, whether it's developing a new product or developing a technology. I would say a most uh, common example that you use and see every day would be a car. Something that you get in every day and you don't realize everything that goes into designing and building that car. So you have the mechanical components, the electrical components, the engine, how those all you know, work together. An example is our Smart Jettison project, which we are designing a new uh, release system to release night vision goggles from a fighter pilot's helmet. Um, the additional mass of the night vision goggles uh, is dangerous when they eject from an aircraft, and the current system basically can't distinguish um, when there's an ejection and when they're just performing a normal aircraft maneuver. So we're developing a new system to do that. It combines electronics, it combines a mechanical system, and, and all of this has to happen in about 100 milliseconds. So it's a really fast response time. So that's a, a fun project. NASA uh, hired our company to take a look at how they might use advanced materials that change shape to deploy habitats in space. In other words, how do you make a lunar habitat, you know, or, or a Martian habitat, one that could literally be folded up shipped on a shuttle, landed on the moon, and activated and morphed out, basically, to expand. Uh, that's a project that we're working on right now. Another project that we're working on is a new stretcher to uh, transport wounded soldiers. There's a lot of traumatic brain injury and spinal cord injuries that are happening, and the current system to move the soldiers, there's not a good way to uh, support the soldier and keep them comfortable and safe during all those different flights and all those different stages. So we're developing a system to do that, choosing the right materials and the right components to keep the soldiers safe and prevent them from getting hurt even worse than they are. I think it's important to focus on STEM classes because you use aspects of those classes on a, a daily basis in engineering. You use algebra, geometry, physics, we use those on a daily basis, um, unit conversions, we do that all the time. And really I think those high school classes are a foundation for the classes that you take in college. Focusing on STEM courses is important, obviously, in order to be um, a qualified engineer, a skilled engineer, you're going to need specific tools in your tool set to solve problems. However, I wouldn't encourage um, just solely focusing on those courses because to solve a math problem gets you to the answer of a math problem, but that isn't necessarily the solution that your client might be looking for. So within um, engineering and engineering problem solving, you have to uh, look at problems holistically and what you need to do is work the other courses in there to help broaden the mechanisms by which you think and the way that you innovate. To arrive at a solution requires not necessarily a linear path. So you have to come at it from taking courses in psychology, philosophy, uh, literature, all those studies that would complement that. All that they do is help you broaden your capacity to think outside the box and all that helps you be a good engineer. Engineering appeals to a lot of different types of people. A lot of people think that engineering is, you know, you kind of go to your office alone and, and work out calculations. You know, that's not really what it's about. One thing that bothers me is when I hear engineers get sort of pigeonholed into the, the math and science guys, right? The ones that really like to do their multiplication tables or hammer out that homework. Engineering, when understood to be a problem-solving initiative really opens up that field of opportunity. Frankly, any student who has a creative mindset and one that has just interest in exploring problems and the problem spaces that surround them, those type of students would be well geared towards an engineering career. Any student who has any interest in technology on any level really can be brought into the engineering career field through any number of paths that's incredibly diverse.